Okay, in this lesson we're going to cover using Office 365 and SharePoint to share files um, with teachers and other students. First we need to log into Office 365. There, so call up your Office 365 and go ahead and log in. This is going to take just a moment. Once we log in, we're going to hit our OneDrive option, and we're going to go down to Add a New Document. Now we want to add a new document from an existing file, and we're going to browse for that file, wherever that file may be. In my case, I'm in my Documents folder, in my Architectural Design folder, and I'm going to load this demo house. Now, depending on the size of the file, it's obviously going to take a couple of moments to transfer that information. Apologize for the hoarse voice. Hopefully, be uh, feeling better soon. Okay, once this file is loaded, if we hit these three dots right here, we can share that file with whoever we'd like. So we're going to hit the three dots, we're going to hit the share option, and then we're going to type in the address who we want to share it with. In this case, I'm going to type in Derry, and you're going to notice that my name is going to show up. This is what I'd like you to do. If you don't want anybody to edit this file, you want them to just look at it, we can hit the View option. If you're sending me a file, please leave the Edit option available so I can make any changes um, and get those back to you. You might want to include a note here, you know, um, Sample Floor Plan, and hit Share. Once you hit that, I'm going to receive an email that says that you shared these files with me. So if I go to my Outlook, in just a second here, we should have a file. Oop. This is the message that was just sent. So I have a shared file. And when I open that, you can see that that floor plan is available for me to look at. That pretty much covers it.